Hello and welcome to another video from me, Avamance. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use minions in Minecraft Skyblock. Minions are a fantastic tool in Minecraft Skyblock. They allow you to get on with the building and they do all the grindy stuff like the mining and the farming. It takes out hours of time for you and it means that you can turn your islands into something really special. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use them, how to get them, how much they cost, how to get them for free, and everything you should probably need to know about the Minecraft Minion. And if there's anything I've missed out, stick it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it. These minions are available to use on my Skyblock, the Isles. The IP for that Skyblock is in the description below. Completely free to play, come and have a go. It is a great community and I really look forward to seeing you there. Now in Skyblock, there is often many different types of minion. In my one, there are eight different types. You've got the miner, the collector, the feeder, the fisher, the seller, the slayer, the lumberjack, and the farmer. All of them completely unique, doing a specific job. I'm gonna demonstrate first with the lumberjack minion. Now you'll notice it's a nether star. Now that's because you can't have a little minion shape in your bar, Minecraft just doesn't support that kind of stuff. But when you place it down, it definitely turns into a minion. Let me show you. I'm gonna pop this fella down right there. And when he comes up, look, he has a little yawn and he's ready to chop down any trees that might be there. I know, he looks like me, isn't it brilliant? If you place yours down, it will look like you. It takes on the skin of whomever places it down. Now you can access its menu by right clicking on it. You can see its menu is here. I can change the skin. Currently we've got two other skins here, Spider-Man and Batman, but other skins can be placed and then you can rotate him in different directions. You can heal him because as he works for you, he takes damage. He'll never die, but he'll just stop working. So you have to heal him every now and again. You can attach him to a chest. You can see how many things he's chopped down. You can give him a name, give him, call him whatever you want. And that is his health. It tells you how close to stopping its work he is. It also can able to level him up. And if you level him up, that means that he becomes faster at chopping things down. So I've just leveled him up to level two and I've leveled him up to level three. And level three is the highest level. What I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna attach him to that chest over there. I'm gonna left click on that. I'm gonna come along. I'm gonna right click a chest and that is he's linked to that chest. Anything he now chops down will go instantly into that chest and we don't need to worry about it. However, there's nothing for him to chop. You have to provide the very first sapling for this poor little fella to chop. So I'm just gonna place down a sapling where should I put it? Let's put it just there, a couple of spots in front of him. And when that grows into a tree, he will chop it down and it will pop all the stuff into that chest. Now, on my sky block, you don't need bone mill to accelerate the growth of this tree. You can just twerk the fella grown. I'm just gonna give it a twerk. You can see here, I'm twerking away. And what happened, eventually this tree is gonna grow into a big tree and my little friend is going to chop it down. There you go, there's the tree, the lumberjack, keeps chopping it away and eventually it will chop that tree down, replant that sapling as if by magic the logs are in that chest. Now this guy will do exactly the same thing if you have got any trees in a six by six square around him. So as a result, you can get loads of wood done all in one go. Let me demonstrate. I've surrounded my little man there with loads and loads of trees. This is not the entire size. I've just done it this size for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna just give these a bit of a twerk. They grow, I come out. You can see look, a big old load of trees there. He will eventually, remember it's not instant, will chop them all down, plant them all up again. And oh my goodness, look at all of that wood. That is the way to collect wood with a minion. So let's try another one. Which one's this? Let's have a go at the farmer minion and see what we can't do with him. I've got a little farm here. It's just a little five by five. I'm gonna pop my fella right in the middle there on that waterlogged slab. He is giving it a little bit of a yawn and he is gonna to start to farm. Whenever these guys grow, those carrots will then be farmed immediately. I'm just gonna right click on him. I'm gonna attach this to the chest that we have here. Right click on the chest and that is now attached. Open it up, you can see there's nothing in it. We just need to wait for these carrots to grow now. Now you can't twerk the carrots in exactly the same way, but you can bone meal them. So I'm just gonna demonstrate, just bone up some of these carrots like this. You can see they instantly get farmed, well I say instantly, pretty quickly get farmed and he replants them with exactly the same crop as was in there before. 
and as a result, you are getting lots and lots of carotage coming into your chest. This is a really, really cool way of getting things done. If I now right click on him, we can see his statistics. He has done 125 crops since I placed him. I could name him. His health is still 20. It takes a little while to go down. And if we want to, we can turn him around. So rotate him around this way. Uh, we maybe we want to face him back that way. Or we can just turn him all the way around and face in the wall because he's been naughty. By the way, did I mention this guy will also do all of your tilling of the soil for you? It's insane. Avo, mate, can I get these things to do the mining for me? The answer is yes. Let me show you. Let's take our miner minion and remember wherever you place him he will land with his back to you. This miner, there he is, as his little yawn. I'm going to right click on him. I'm going to attach a chest. Let's attach that chest. There we go. And any block that he collects after I've attached it to him, I'm just going to pop those ones in there, will start to go into that hole. Now, occasionally on Skyblock, these don't bring up cobble, they bring up ore blocks, and the higher the level of your island, the better the ore blocks are at the moment. My island is level really, really, really low, and as a result, the cobblestone generator is only bringing out a little bit of cobblestone. But it's all going into this chest right here, and he is doing it for me. He'll mine out anything that comes up. You can see that was some gravel just turned up there, and if I look in the chest, you'll see we've got a little bit of flint off the back of that gravel. This is a really, really OP way of doing it. Again, exactly the same way. You can heal him up if he gets a little bit hungry. You can turn him around if you want him to maybe mine out in another direction. His health is currently 19 out of 20. I can level him up in exactly the same way as before. He is now a level two. He's now a level three. I can give him a name and he's already mined 26 blocks for me. I'm gonna change his skin. Let's turn him into Batman. See, that's just silly. What's also really cool is you can join these guys up so they all feed into one single chest. I'll show you what I mean. I have currently got four, four minions going at it. This is my Slayer minion. He is gonna be killing anything that pops out of that chicken spawner. As soon as it spawns, if I get close enough, we'll get some chickens pop out, he will kill them. There you go, one chicken comes out. The Slayer says, oh no, I don't think so. And it kills the chicken and collects up the stuff, puts it into that chest. I've got my miner, which you already know about. I've got the fisherman, which is putting the fish into the chest. And I've also got the collector here. And the collector will basically pick up anything that is within its pathway and also put that into the chest for me. It will do it the higher the level, the faster it does it. And you can see in here, all of these things are being collected up. Now, that now is a chest I could stick a cellar minion on. So if I then put a cellar minion, I don't know, let's just say here, the seller minion now is looking at what can I sell? So again, if I attach the chest here, that seller minion will now sell the stuff in the chest every time it goes through a sell cycle. Anything that is saleable on the store will then get sold by the minion. So these guys are working, this guy is doing the selling. It's a really good way of doing stuff. However, they are all gonna get hungry because as a result of them working, they take damage. Don't worry about that. We've got the feeder minion. The feeder minion pops in there. Pop in the feeder minion in the middle and that will feed all of these minions as long as they're in a six by six square with them. And as a result, this could be a perpetual motion machine, which might not be possible in physics, but it is possible in Skyblock. Although you will have to feed him. Unless of course, you've got another feeder minion feeding him and then he feeds that and they'll feed each other. And then it really is completely perpetual motion and there you have eight different minions all doing different jobs but working together as one to make sure that you get as much money and as much resource as you possibly can these things are absolutely brilliant now you can get these cute little guys in one of three different ways and two of them are completely free the first is by buying them with in-game currency. You collect the GPs by selling the blocks that you generate and trading with other players. You slowly generate those GPs, and once you've got enough, you could buy one of those minions with them. That's completely free in-game currency. The second way is by winning them in in-game tournaments. So there are tournaments throughout the seasons, and you can get these as prizes. 
And the third way is by going to the store. The link is in the description below and on avamance.com where you can buy these individual minions, whichever ones you choose, in whichever combination you'd like, a single one-off payment gets you the minion for the entirety of the rest of the season. Are there any other Skyblock tutorials that you'd like to know about? Do let me know in the comments below. I'd be really, really glad to hear from you. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoyed them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.